Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video, I have the new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation to try out. Now I have been hearing very mixed reviews about this one, so I'm interested to test it out for myself. If you've tried it, make sure you leave me a comment down below with your thoughts. This is going to be my first impressions of the foundation. I actually haven't tried it out before. So if you're interested to see how it goes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. All right, starting with the details. I picked up the shade Porcelain and it retails for $19.95. I did pick it up on sale though for around $12 and you can grab this from the big retailers like Priceline and Chemist Warehouse. It comes with 30 mils of product, which is pretty standard for a foundation. On the Priceline and Chemist Warehouse website, there are only six shades available, whereas on the CoverGirl Australia website, there are actually 14. But you can't shop directly from the CoverGirl website, so I don't know where you're meant to pick up those extra shades. <laughs> Now on the website, it is described as a lightweight, nourishing liquid foundation that gives your skin the moisture boost it craves with a delicate infusion of milky coconut and soothing aloe. You'll experience a glowing, dewy finish that lasts all day long, blurring imperfections and creating a more even skin tone. It also isn't formulated with a bunch of different ingredients. Um, I don't really know how to say half of them, so I'm not going to attempt it. There's just this one word. I actually see it on a lot of things. P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S. How do you say P-H-T-H? F-th? Is that... Phthalates? Like, what is that word? What are phthalates? Anyway, it's also cruelty free and vegan and I actually saw Taylor Wynn using a matching pressed powder and she's very picky with pressed powders and she really liked it. So I hope that comes to Australia very soon. Here is what the packaging looks like. It's in a little squeezy tube. I think it's really cute with the pink and the white, but Priceline is now putting these damn stickers on their makeup and I get it. You don't want people to steal, but it's ugly, okay? And it's hard to get off. And I've complained about this before from a chemist warehouse. It just, oh, oh, like I'm not stealing your makeup, okay? Why do the thieves have to ruin it for everyone? Oh, wow. I have a feeling I'm gonna be in some kind of mood today. This is the size of the coffee I drank. Like it's as big as my damn head. <laughs> Alright, just give me um, 20 minutes and I'll get this sticker off the packaging. Yep, just one little string at a time. Okay, I'm going to squeeze some onto this palette here. The shade actually looks quite nice. It's very fair. Ooh, I'm excited to try it. Okay, now because it is a more lightweight foundation, I am just going to color correct. And I've got a nice little cluster of pimples on this side that I'm going to cover up as well. I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness Primer. For reference, I do have combination skin. I get a little oily throughout my T-zone, but I can also get dry around any breakouts. All right, let's actually bring it in, shall we? Let's bring it in, okay. So the way I like to apply my foundation is I get a little concealer brush and I swipe the foundation all over my face. Ooh, this is actually very fair. Ooh, okay. One side I will use a sponge and the other side I will go in with a brush. I need a little mirror. It smells like popcorn. Hmm, yummy. All right, first things first before I blend, let's actually give it a little sniff because it does say milky coconut. Oh, it's the foundation that smells like popcorn. It doesn't smell like coconut, but I am seriously smelling popcorn. Hmm, tasty. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. For those who hate coconut, it doesn't smell like coconut. All right, I'm going to start stippling it in with the brush. That's actually 
pretty decent coverage. I think it might be a bit fair for me. Or maybe the undertone is just a bit too cool. Hmm. I feel like my neck looks a bit more yellow. Okay, so it's definitely that lighter coverage. If we look up here, you can still see the redness from that pimple. But my skin looks very natural and it has that nice fresh dewy look to it. All right, this side I'm going to use my sponge. I feel like the sponge is giving a similar coverage. Usually you get a lighter coverage with the sponge, but I can still see my breakouts or my scars on this side. Look at that nice glow though. Ooh, I'm going to go in and put on a second layer and see if I get any more coverage. I don't think there's much difference with the coverage when it comes to the brush and the sponge. I do prefer the sponge side because it's kind of just blended into the skin a bit better. Whereas on the brush side, I feel like it's sitting on top. So I'm just going to lightly pat over that. It's definitely too light for me. I feel very ghostly. <sighs> Let me quickly look on the Priceline website and see what the next shade up is. I feel like this has been happening a lot lately where foundations are too fair for me. <laughs> like, am I getting tanned or is the makeup industry getting better at creating shades? I'm gonna go with number two. <laughs> so the next shade up is called Fair Light 530. It does look a little deeper. You see, it's something I would need to swatch in store. Oh, we're not allowed to do that at the moment, so. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like once applied. I am loving this dewy finish. Look at my skin glowing there. I definitely agree with that claim. It is very lightweight. I can barely feel it on the skin. And I think it has a light to maybe just medium coverage because you can still see my breakouts and scars. And even though I did cover these pimples, you can still see them. I just put a little bit more on those. Let's see if it covers them up. Oh yeah. It is slightly buildable, but not too much. I feel like it is looking a little patchy around the corners of my nose. Let me show you. So just around my nose crease there, it's kind of patchy. It's showing a little bit of dryness in my nose, but as you can see, very fresh and natural. You can still see my skin underneath. I actually really like it. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my makeup. I'll be right back and show you the finished look. Let's get into a real close up here. So I think the cheeks are looking so fresh and glowy still. I did use cream, bronzer, blush, and highlight. I haven't set the cheeks with powder. I think the coverage is really nice. I did set under my eyes and around my nose with powder, and I feel like it's looking just a tad cakey and a little bit dry. Same with on my chin where I set with powder. But I think my cheeks look really nice. My forehead looks good. I just need to work on these areas. All right, well, let me swatch this foundation and a couple of other favorites in my collection so you can get a feel for the shade. Now that I've got them side by side, I can definitely see that the CoverGirl is very cool toned. It looked quite neutral when I put it on the palette, but on my arm, rather cool. So this is the Clean Fresh Skin Milk in 510 Porcelain. Here we have another one by CoverGirl. This is the True Blend in the shade L1. 
This here is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110 Porcelain. I really like this shade on me. Next, I have the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in F0.7. Here we have the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in 0.5 N Porcelain, another one of my favorite shade matches. And then we have the MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NW10. All right, well, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. I will continue to wear this foundation over the next couple of days and we'll put an update in the description box below how it wore, the longevity, things like that. I will also list all the products that I use on my face today down in the description box below. And if you want to watch any more foundation reviews, I have an entire playlist that you can go check out. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!